Welcome to the war, soldier. I know you're looking for action, but before you ship out, let's go through a quick refresher course. Let's start simple by checking your awareness. I want you to look up. All right, let's move on to some live fire drills. There's an enemy on your cover. For close quarters combat, blind fire is the most effective way to eliminate an enemy. When you're low on ammo, you can either reload or draw your sidearm. Good. Now let's see you acquire targets at a distance. Aim down your sights and take out those enemies across from you. Target down! Fine shooting, soldier. Remember, for close combat, use blind fire. And for targets at a distance, aim down your sights. Now on to combat focus movement. We train this because it will keep you alive. Let's start with the basics. First, try strafing across cover. Simple, right? Now, if you're being flanked and taking enemy fire from behind, just vault over your cover. Try vaulting now. If your cover allows vaulting in more than one direction, you can press the direction you want and the vault button together to control the direction of your vault. Now onto the core of combat focus movement, cover to cover advancement. Using your reticle, select that cover over there. Once the cover is highlighted, you can use your personal flight pack to fly directly to that cover. Go ahead and try your PFP now. While flying, you can still look around, fire, aim, and reload, but you fly slower while aiming down your sights. Let's talk about advanced flight tactics. While in flight, you can strafe in any direction and use a short speed boost to dodge enemy fire. Look behind you and fly back to your original cover, but this time try strafing in mid-flight and then use your speed boost. If your position is overrun, you can retreat to a cover you were recently near without targeting it. Try retreating now. Be aware that you cannot retreat twice in a row. You need to make an active movement before you can retreat. There's one more important flight skill you need to learn. Head back to the other cover and I'll explain on the way. You can select a new cover destination during flight. Look at a different cover and confirm your selection. Let's get back to your offensive capabilities. In battle, every soldier is equipped with a single ability. To demonstrate, we'll use high-impact rounds. Think of them as steroids for your bullets. Pop your ability and shoot those targets over there. Nice job. All abilities are on a cooldown, so once you pop it, you're going to have to wait until it comes back online. So use it wisely. There are many different abilities you'll be able to unlock over time. All right. The last thing I want to go over is drones. Drones are autonomous reinforcements. You earn the right to call in drones by eliminating targets while on a streak. Neutralize that target to start a kill streak. Stalker available. This is a DR-24 Stalker, your basic drone. He's your main support unit. He'll follow where you go and engage your targets. The Stalker is available after your first kill. Try hitting two more targets. Warbringer available. Next is the DX-89 Warbringer. He has two inch thick ballistic armor and a forward mounted MG-7N heavy machine gun. Call him down when you need heavy support. The Warbringer is available after a kill streak of three. All right, take down two more targets this time. Trayon available. Finally, with a five kill streak, you can call in the AGR Prayon. Think of her as a heat-seeking missile. She's very fast and will seek out and destroy any targets with extreme prejudice. And that concludes this briefing. You've gone through the basics and did way better than the last batch of scrubs I had earlier. Maybe we'll win this war yet.